Tough is the best way to describe Sunday for Wisconsin football. Chris McIntosh, Paul Christ, and Jim Leonard met with the team to break the news that UW is parting ways with Chris and Leonard will be the interim head coach the rest of the season. Now, Chris led the Badgers to 67 wins and three Big Ten West titles, but was just 15 and 10 in his last 25 games, including back-to-back -back blowout losses. As far as why now, well, McIntosh said it was a difficult decision, but one he had to make. This is a decision that's based upon where we're at as a program. And, um, you know, I, I think it's important to make a decision uh, when I feel it's right, the right time, w w given the circumstances of where we're at as a program right now. And so um, it's a tough time to make a transition, um, but I felt it was the right time. It's our duty, you know, my duty as a coach, um, and to get our staff and players to rally, you know, behind him and, and really fulfill everything that he had envisioned for this team, which we still think is, is out there. Jim Leonard called the opportunity a dream in a nightmare and said Chris told him after the change he has a ton of confidence in him, saying, quote, he made that clear when he hired me, and he made that clear today. Outside Camp Randall, Zach Hanley, News 3 Sports. All right, now there's a lot to talk about and a lot to look ahead for. Uh, so let's get some more analysis on the decision here and whether it'll make a difference for what's next for the Badgers. Yeah, Jim Rutledge with the ESPN Madison up a little early to break down the decision for us. How are you doing this morning? I'll be honest, I'm tired. I was up late. We did a, okay. an extra show last night yeah. about it too. So uh, it's big news here in Madison. So we were listening to that this morning. I want to hear what you think about whether this is the right decision after a slow start this season and what some might say, you know, some rocky couple of years here for the Badgers. Yeah, and look, the Badgers have had the, I guess, the blessing and the curse of expectations. And it's a sad decision. But Paul Christ, he was the OC under Brett Bielema. He obviously won almost as many games as Brett Bielema, came right. up one short, had very similar success. But obviously something was off the last few years. Four and three in the pandemic year, nine wins last year, and this year being under 500, looking flat. I think all those things played a factor. So how much of this is on Chris and how much is on play at the quarterback position? <laughs> well, both. If Paul Chris is the offensive guru, then Paul Chris should be accountable for the lack of development from Graham Mertz. Statistically and through the eye test, Graham kind of looks like the same player when he arrives. So that's tough as an offensive minded coach to kind of justify you have this four star talent. Why hasn't he gotten better? You laid this out pretty well, you know, slow for that pandemic year, a slow start last year two and three this year is this change coming a little late you know maybe but Wisconsin's always a little bit slow for Wisconsin this is a pretty bold move so yes and other programs this move could be late but Jim Leonard being there is an important part for this to be able to work and so I think the timing actually is surprising to me mid-season but obviously uh, McIntosh wanted to be bold and wanted to get Jim Leonard installed to change the culture and I want to ask really briefly before we run out of time here does Leonard have chances at permanent replacement I would say he's a leader in the clubhouse. He's a very uh, straightforward guy when he says that he does put his family first. So I think the only thing that would not allow him to get this job, and Lance Leipold, former UW Whitewater coach, is very qualified, would be if Jim Leonard says, this commitment is too much because I think college football, being that head coach, is one of the toughest, if not the toughest job in all of football. Yeah, I agree. I think it's Leonard to lose uh, right now for sure. Uh, thanks for your expert analysis this morning. We appreciate it. A lot yep. to talk about in the next few days for sure in the season ahead. Get some sleep or some coffee. One <laughs> of the two this morning. Thanks, Both. Jim.